Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a new colony that I bought on a total impulse, uh, without even thinking um, or checking stock levels over at Antkit, and I totally forgot that uh, a lot of the staff is off, and the nests and most of the outworlds are on back order, so. I've had to look around and repurpose what I've got. So as you see here, I'm cleaning up an old nest to use it for these ants. Um, you know, I've cleaned it up good and proper, it's good as new now. Um, but I don't even have a 9mm tubing or an outworld. So, we're going to have to do something here. Okay, so... I found an outworld um, and I'm going to have to grout it so I thought the Mesobarbarous outworld which needs to be changed might as well get it done at the same time um, you know because mixing grout once it's easier to do them all at one time but in the meantime let's get the colony into the nest so I've grabbed the plastic starter kit outworld that you saw me make an expansion port on and uh, basically what's happening here is I'm using my proven time tested method of the bit of cotton wool blue tack and you stick it up against the hole and then you just cover your nest and light up the other one and you know all my ants this is worked on pretty much straight away most of the time so as you can see here a lot of the ants have already started moving but I thought I'll see if they're hungry so I chucked in a piece of um, it's brown sugar protein jelly um, um, because I like to use the brown sugar one because it is a good two-in-one it's, it's very sweet and obviously sugary, so it, it does energy, but then it's protein jelly, so it's packed full of um, all the right stuff for the brood, and uh, it's a really good sort of mix. So I like to use this one, and some species it's a hit or a miss, but obviously um, this Laceus Flavius colony um, like it. Uh, believe it or not, yeah, this whole blob, they ate the whole thing. I, there wasn't even a smear left um, by the time they'd finished with it. They just went on and on and on. So, as we leave them eating, you can see a lot more brood has now been decided that they're going to move. So brood and the young ants are being brought through. But the queen still resides outside, and she will uh, she'll actually move over without me actually noticing. She was a crafty one, this one. This is a nice close up of the well. You can't see the queen; she's totally covered in workers. Um, it's this. It was really weird. Normally, I can do macro shots quite easily. But the Laceus Flavius were really hard to get into focus. I don't mean like, you know, like it's blurry now. I mean focus. I mean, it was hard to get depth and detail. Um, it must have something to do with their colour. Or the, whole, the light, the colour and everything. But I managed to get some nice shots as you can see here eventually. And as you can see, this is quite a big colony as well. Um, it's at least 150 workers with at least 50 to 100 brood. Um, but this is them waiting for their outworld to be ready. And uh, that's what's left of the protein jelly. And uh, this is 12 hours later once the outworld was finished. Um, if you're wondering what that mark is in the grout, uh, that's a cat's paw print. And uh, yeah, I thought I would leave it in. 
<laughs> it's the first time she's ever done anything like that. So yeah, there's a poor print. But yeah, this is their outworld, and um, I do like to go for a bit of a mix. I go through phases on how I decorate my outworlds. I used to go foliage heavy, but I'm on this phase where I like the nice, clean, um, open look. Uh, everybody to their own, I guess, eh? Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this colony. Um, they've got... They've got lots of lots of brood and what you didn't see, which I actually saw when they were carrying them out, is there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of pinhead sized eggs everywhere um, in there. So there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video on my new colony. And uh, if you did, hit that like, like and subscribe button if you're not already. And I'll catch you in the next video and future updates. Thanks a lot guys, and I'll catch you next time.